so in all the gate lines so the gates whichever in the engagement their axes are constant so their axes are not rotating with the you know with respect to each other but it remains constant but whereas in this in this type that is a planetary and epicyclic gate line these axes are not constant but you know in this third they are, they are having some relative motion with respect to each other so in a simple gate line we don't have any connecting arm because this shaft also fixed one but whereas here since this shaft is not fixed one we have a arm here to keep these two gates together and uh, here in this case for example this is a fixed one and this is a not fixed one and uh, if it is a rotating about you know this one yes then this is like you know revolving earth revolving about the sun so that's why the fixed gear is generally called as the sun and the rotating one is a plan planetary gear that's why the name came here a planetary gear train and this is a arm here and why it's called epicyclic gear train here gear p is rotating on the circumference of the fixed gear yes so this this is generating epicycloid profile so that's why this is called as a epicycloid gear train also so in the simple gear train you know in the absence of the arm a either s or p is rotating then we can find out the angular velocity of the other gear but whereas here when we, if you rotate the arm in this direction and if the uh, simultaneously if the p is rotating or if the s is in instead of fixing if f is also rotating then it would become much more complicated so in that case how to find out the you know angular velocity of the output so now i will break down this uh, entire system into two cases so the first case is i will keep this arm as a fixed one so in the case one these two shafts are a fixed one because this arm is a fixed one here so what happens here for example i will take you know uh, ds diameter of the s equal to 4 times the diameter of the p for the sake of understanding i just took some example so what happens here so n p by ns equal to ds by dp so that equal to ds by dp then it will become 4 so what does it mean for example if i give ns equal to 1 revolution or 1 rotation so here what is the difference between rotation and revolution so rotation is you know rotating about its own axis see if it is rotating like about its own axis this is a fixed one then it's a rotation but instead of a rotation we have a wonder body here like a sun and our earth like object is you know revol revolving around this one that is called as a revolution so we need to identify those two differences here so if n1 is given one rotation then how many rotations this np is having so np is having a four rotations here that means this is shaft or when the gear is rotating that means the shaft is rotating like this so the shaft is rotating around this one and if i sit on the shaft what happens i will make four rotations here the same case can be you know tell like this so the s is a now fixed one here x is a fixed one and what i do is i will i will rot i will revolve this p gear on the s surface without a slip piece so what happens it will complete four revolution the shaft will you know rotate about itself this whole gear p is revolving around the gear s but whereas you know i am sitting on the shaft so i am the sitting on the shaft so i will rotate myself four times by the time it will complete one revolution so it started from here and it's going like this around this one and it came again to here so the person who ever sitting on this shaft is rotating about himself four times so the both cases are actually the similar so in this third we here giving one revolution here i'm fixing here and uh, i'm revolving this p around this one so that uh, the shaft is rotating four rotations here so these two are same here
so this is the second case here again x is fixed one here again a fixed x and this is a arm now we have a arm here so in this case what is happening this shafts are not constant and not fixed one as like in the previous case but in this case this arm is rotating like this this arm is rotating like this and here i kept some loose contact between these two gear intentionally and uh, this you no know, shaft and the arm are you know fixed with a revolute joint and revolute joint and uh, what this is uh, making one revolution about this one and it's making about revolution and uh, if i take a you know object like this so for example this is the ab and uh, this is uh, making a revolution about this one so it came to this uh, position so this is a uh, this position and this is the arm here and uh, even in this position what is happening this object that i took ab is remains like this ab is remains like this what does it mean the, that means the gear p is not not rotating itself but it's just simply revolving like this it's just simply revolving like this and uh, even if you reach you know this position again ab is like this and uh, by the time you reach here ab is like this so this whole body the whole body as a whole or body p as a whole is making a revolution but it's not uh, rotating anything here but if you take the shaft when it's uh, rotating in the process about this one revolving up in the process with respect to arm it's making one rotation so the person who is sitting on this shaft and uh, there is one more person sitting on the arm so for example this is a person s s1 and one more person s2 sitting on the shaft of the p then these two persons s1 and s2 actually they rotate one revolution with respect to each other so in the previous case we made four rotations the shaft p is made four rotations but whereas here shaft p np is made only one rotation because this is a simply you know revolution but not a rotating because there is no contact between these two in the case 3 p rotates and as well as revolves why it revolves because of the arm and why it rotates because there is a contact between s and p so because of its self rotation around this center what happens we have a four turns is making is the shaft is making four full revolution or rotations and here because of the arm revolution revolution around the sun it's making the one rotation so what is the total so total this is a plus so that a total equal to five rotations so this is our uh, simple planetary gate train so in this one generally we kept s as a constant and r and p also rotating but if you take s as a constant in the initial itself what happens the problem is so i want to calculate np so np by ns these two are in the engagement so what happens this is generally written as a minus ts by tp why minus these are rotating in the opposite direction so that's why we are taking minus these are externally engaged and are rotating in the opposite direction if these two are internally engaged rotate in the same direction so in that case we wouldn't take this uh, minus sign but here if if in the starting itself if i pick the ns then it will become zero and multiplication of you know np into zero equal to become zero so instead of taking initial itself you know ns as zero we will take you know uh, in the different way that means instead of uh, in the case one what we took is we rotated p about the s but instead of rotating p we will make s one revolution what happens if i make a s one revolution arm is fixed one here if i take arm is fixed and uh, s is one revolution even in that case p is making four revolution so the both ways are you know similar that is instead of uh, rotating p around the s if i rotate s by keeping p as a constant the two scenarios p is making the same number of rotations so because of this problem now what i do is instead of s is fixed i will take initially arm is fixed one arm is a fixed arm a is fixed one and gear s is a one making one revolution here so what happened this is angular velocity table 
so what happened n r means r mutations are fixed in the first case in the first case this is the for the first case so what happened this is the zero and uh, n s is a one revolution and uh, n p n p is minus uh, n s by sorry yeah, minus uh, t s by t p and uh, so this is one revolution in this case since we took only you now one revolution it's making four revolution but uh, i want to generalize this one so i will multiply with the uh, x rotations if s is making x rotations then what happens again this is a zero so it's a simply multiple case now this one so instead of one revolution is making a x revolution so if i multiply from this formula you know this is a formula so ns is now x revolution so here what we get is minus x ts by tp and uh, now case one is over here from here now case two what is the case two in the case two arm also rotating so when the arm is rotating when the arm is rotating what happening so it's making extra rotations so in the case 3 if you want to get the so here for example these are y revolutions this arm is making y revolutions and uh, because of this revolution we are going to into the case 3 so we want to find out the total revolution of the system so in the case 3 what we did in the previous session it's a simply addition of case 1 and case 2 so i am adding this y to all these previous cases so y plus x here and here y minus x by ts tp okay so but in the previous case we have chosen that uh, ns is a uh, zero here so and uh, y is 1 so now y equal to 1 and uh, here y plus x equal to 0 that means uh, you know x equal to minus y and uh, here ts by tp so what is the ts by tp that is a 4 so what is the np here why because we have taken ds equal to 4 sorry dp equal to 4 ds that means ts by tp equal to dp by ds that means 4 so here np what is the np y y is 1 minus here x equal to minus y that means equal to minus 1 so minus into minus plus by 4 so we got 5 rotations so five rotations of the nb so in the same manner whatever the complicated the system is or if you attach so many gates into this one so if you follow the same method then easily we can solve this you know problem